We are in the Cosmic Care Stream, which is an Airstream trailer that I have transformed into the Cosmic Care Stream. I was asked to be a part of the Windwood Walls two years ago. Futura was right across from me. Well, we shared a show back in 1982. So it's pretty phenomenal to be older and be a part of this thing. I'm adding to a mural that existed. I'm making it much more dense. My stuff that I do, I almost look at it as a cancerous growth. like these virusy things and then they, they're there and they don't have a square border. It's like mold, you know, it's like slime. It goes off there and it goes off there. You can't sell these murals. They're just on the walls and they're not forever. And it's a way of reaching people, you know, in a big way. I mean, if you do a painting in a gallery, how many people are gonna see it? You do a painting in the corner of Houston and Bowery, well, I think it's like 20,000 people an hour will see it. It's getting very Baroque and high powered now. There's a lot of money involved. This was an alternative to the obsession with why art is better because it's worth more money. Americans look at art as fashion, so you eat it up and then you spit it out. Some graffiti, I think, well, maybe it doesn't look so good, but some looks great. And some graffiti is very artful and shows that there's creativity and there's inspiration, even on a crappy wall with broken glass and junkies and syringes, there's a little sign of hope there that somebody has a spark of imagination. But I don't know, I mean, I have seen so much gentrification in different neighborhoods. There's a fine line again between making it nicer for people that are there that can afford the nicer things that arrive and then making it harder for the people that have been there will have to leave because they can't afford it anymore. Some people see it as a great thing. Some people see it as the death of a neighborhood. And I see it in both ways. This neighborhood is full of paintings, but there's still plenty of walls with nothing on that. I would like to see just it continuing to spread and spread and spread over every boring, vacant wall. It's like infinite to me where it can go, and an urban landscape without street art would be even more depressing because you would just have nothing to look at.